Having made landfall approximately six hours ago, Freddy is forecast to track generally west-southwestward as it is ripped apart by the mountainous eastern region of Madagascar. The system is forecast to weaken to around 85 km per hour, 45 knots, over the next 12 hours as it approaches the Mozambique Channel. Though the system has good atmospheric support, characterized by low wind shear and moderate, outflow aloft, these elements pale in comparison to the negative effects of land interaction. After 12 hours, the system will enter the Mozambique Channel and in 36 hours, Freddy is forecast to reach its fifth and final peak intensity of around 110 km per hour, 60 knots. As the subtropical ridge to the south continues to build, Freddy will be forced westward making landfall after two days and quickly, weakening over the next three days. In four days, after a historic trip of over 5,000 nautical miles, Freddy will finally dissipate over South Africa. Forecast models are in good agreement over the next three days with all members indicating a generally west-south-westward and eventually westward track. After three days, COMPS DC, and VGM and GFS, HWRF and UK Met Ensemble show a possible sharp poleward recurve back over the channel while the remaining guidance does not show a poleward turn. For these reasons the initial forecast track is placed with high confidence while the extended forecast track is placed with low confidence. Reliable model intensity guidance is in fair agreement with all members generally following the JTWC intensity forecast over the next three days, after which the members that track back over water show additional intensification while the rest result in dissipation in four